Hi, this is Teresa at Track Creation, for you where we explore, experiment, and execute effectively. Today, I want to talk about wiki pages in Microsoft Teams. What is a wiki page? When to use it? And in the demo, I'm going to show you how to add, edit, and navigate through pages and sections, understand the differences between removing and deleting content in a wiki page. And you know me, I always like to cover best practices and limitations. So let's get started. Okay, so I have navigated to Microsoft Teams Windows version. What is a wiki page? You are looking at it. So with Microsoft public and private channels, you would get a wiki page um, by default, but starting in August 2022, you have to add that app for it so it can appear in your top navigation. So let's cover some of the components of a wiki page. So you have your tab and, you know, it starts off with wiki. You can rename it and you have a page header and you have different sections within there where you can add images, you can add tables, you can add hyperlinks for your content within these sections. Now, when you look at our table contents here, you have the three horizontal lines where you can turn this on or off. And it's really driven by the user because you cannot control to have this on for everyone on your team or off. So they have the ability to display the table contents. Now within the table contents, notice that the what's in bold are the multiple pages that I created um, for this wiki page. So you can have multiple pages in multiple sections. So let's talk about when to use uh, a wiki page. So Think about when you're onboarding, you know, a new team member and you have some relevant content that you want to share for everyone on the team, you can create that page if you have um, FAQs. So think about all the common questions that you may get either about this platform or about some processes and procedures. This will be a good place to add that information, um, how to's and knowledge transfer. Now, I only recommend that if you have policies and procedures that's really detailed and you want them to have access um, to that, don't recreate it here. Just give them the link to that document because you can um, insert hyperlinks um, within a wiki page. Now, I want to cover some of the limitations. I like to go out to Microsoft Feedback Portal and look at some of the users' um, wish lists. And these were some that caught my attention and that I like to vote on as well. So you cannot copy wiki pages to another page or channel. I like to say, shame on Microsoft for not allowing you to be able to um, copy information over. Um, there's no wiki page templates. Again, I would like to be able to create my own template that allow me to reuse, um, you know, for pages or other channels. Um, I, I'm going to cover um, the difference between removing and deleting pages because, you know, there's some things, um, pages and sections you can recover, but you cannot recover should you delete that tab. So that's gonna be really important for you to know. And I also noticed that in this section here, this is my section header, I cannot change the font or, um, or the color of it. So those are some of the limitations. Go out to Microsoft um, Feedback Portal, either add your own wish list as well as vote on some an existing ones. So I hope this helps you. I have created this welcoming page just to show you what a welcoming page could look like. You have the ability to actually move sections up or down. I can start a conversation if I like with my team members. Let's say that I would like to have um, Alex to actually comment on this page. 
So here's a good place that if you want to even capture ideas for topics for your monthly meetings, you can capture it right here on this page and that information is saved. Let's create a new wiki page. Click the plus sign in the top menu. And under recent, this could be either showing your recent apps that you use, or it could be sorted in alphabetic order, but just look for wiki page and give it a title and press save. Okay, so this is what a blank wiki page would look like. So we're going to give it a page title and let's give a title for your section and add a picture. Let's add a picture. So notice how you get the standard Microsoft font um, attributes across the top here. You can add quotes here. This is where you insert a hyperlink. If you need like a divider, you can actually um, include a horizontal line and pictures in um, insert a table. Now, just so you know, these are the icons for to undo or redo. Now, undo is control Z and redo is control Y are the shortcuts. But let's quickly insert a picture. So you have multiple places where you can insert your pictures from. If you have pictures stored on your Teams channel or in OneDrive, which is your personal OneDrive, or you can pull from your local drive as well. And let's do that. Once you insert your picture, you can enlarge it, resize it to how large you want it. And I'm just gonna place my cursor in the content area and add content. Once my content is entered, I can highlight it, I can make it bold, I can actually increase the size and notice you only have small, medium, or large. So it's not saying you wanted, you know, 36 points. It's, you know, from this, um, from these choices. Okay. So how do I add another section? If you just bring your cursor beneath the one up above, all you do is click on the plus sign and you add a new one. So we'll just add one more. Okay, so let's add a new page. So at the bottom of this page, you'll see the new page icon. Again, I wish they would put this, you know, somewhere up at the top, make it easier, um, more visible for you to see. You get a blank page. You're going to just give it a name. You're going to give your section a title as well. So it's everything that what we did in the previous, um, on the previous page. So I won't go through all of that, but let's really talk about what's really important. And that's the remove versus deleting content. And if you, um, from the top navigation, and you see the remove, if you remove it, it's gone, gone, gone. You cannot recover the um, tab for this particular wiki page. The content um, is stored on SharePoint, but you can't recover it because of the tab is missing. Now, if we want to delete a page, click on the more options and click on delete, it is recoverable even when Microsoft says that this page is permanently deleted and I can show you how um, to recover it. If you want to delete a section that click on the more options and you see the delete again, you get that same permanently deleted, but I'm going to show you how to recover it. Let's go ahead and delete the whole entire page. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is click on the Files tab and select Open in SharePoint. 
Now that SharePoint is open, we want to go click on the settings icon and choose library settings. Now in the left navigation under recent, you're going to see things relevant to the wiki page. And notice this 19 long number, but it has at thread um, um, wiki. Same thing down here. I will show you how you know which one to choose, but I know that I need to click on this one. So I'm gonna click it. So the library opens up with this content. Now, when you do this for the first time, all you're gonna do is see the Titum column. I modified my view because I wanted to see modified because I need to see the, you know, when it was created. So it's easier for me to identify what section to choose from because notice wiki is a generic name, page is generic, and section is generic. So I also want to see the column for wiki deleted because there's a check mark by the different items that have been deleted and I want the wiki title. Again, it's just gonna make things easier for me to identify what I'm looking for. So let me show you how I added those columns. So I'm in SharePoint, click on all items and edit current view. Now, once this load, um, you're gonna just go through the list. It's, it is in alphabetical order and you're gonna check modify, wiki delete and wiki title and then press okay. So that's pretty simple. Okay, so I'm going to sort this in descending order newer to older and i'm going to look at this is the page there it is give it a name that's the section which is what i was looking for the section one here so how do i know so when i look at the page i and look at the page content i see the page title wiki title, give it a name, that's right. And come down here and look for wiki deleted. And if the check mark is there, that's saying that it was deleted and I want to deselect that. And notice it was really quick. It showed um, saved. So we're gonna do that again for all of them. Again, that's my title, that's correct. And wiki delete, come here and watch real quickly, saved. That's what I wanted to make sure. Okay, so let's navigate back to Microsoft Teams. If I click on my demo wiki page, there it is, it is back. So very good. So. I have showed you how to add, edit, and move around in a wiki page. I sh shared with you the difference between removing and deleting a page and actually gave you some tips on how to make sure you can look um, at your information in SharePoint by using the views. If you like this information, give me thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.